Hi, it's been a while since I made a video. I wanted to show you guys uh, my kayak trailer. I've had it for about a year, maybe probably longer than that. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys how I launch it and uh, how easy this thing is. If you're on the fence about getting a trailer, get one. It's, it's made my life wonderful. Not having to worry about lugging this thing around and unloading it. I've launched this thing like a boat. So let me just show you real quick how this works. So I keep everything in the boat pretty much. It's all self-contained. I pick it up out of my garage, I haul it out, and uh, all I gotta do is basically just do some assembly right before I launch. Take the straps off, and then I'm good to go. I got the mini boat uh, buckles. So all you gotta do is unlock them. And then basically it's a ratchet strap that's attached to the trailer. You got one in the middle and the one up front. Then I got this cord that I attach to my Jeep. Once I get everything assembled, I just back it in. I'll show you guys on the on the uh, GoPro. Keep my baits in there, life jacket, fish finder. So I throw all that on. Uh, put the fishing rods on the fishing rod holder, and that's about it. Take the boat buckles off, and then we launch it in the water. Let's do it. Here's what the kayak trailer looks like with the kayak off of it. This trailer was built in 1981, galvanized steel. So it's 40 years old. I've replaced the leaf springs, the hubs, wheels, tires, gave it a paint job, and uh, added the uh, boat buckles, and uh, replaced the hitch, and added the landing gear. Uh, I just made the hitch the same size as my boat so I don't have to change out the balls. And replace the wiring, lights, all that good stuff. It's got LEDs. So I don't have to worry about replacing bulbs and stuff. Extended the bunks so it fits the uh, Big Fish 105 pretty good. Lodge right up the middle. Uh, nothing fancy, just uh, a little bit of elbow grease. I think I paid 400 bucks for it and probably put about 200 bucks into it. So it just makes things uh, way more convenient and uh, it makes it a lot more fun to uh, go fishing now. So, all right, I'm gonna make a little video of uh, getting her loaded up. Hey guys, yep, it's a bummer. I lost the GoPro. So I had footage of uh, taking the boat down, putting it in the water, launching, retrieving, all that good stuff. Just show, I wanna show you guys how simple it was. If you're on the fence about getting a, a trailer for your kayak, I would definitely 100% recommend it. Uh, as you can see, it also works as a, a cart. So whenever you got it uh, in the garage, you can work on it pretty easy. Um, if you get to a spot where you can't use the trailer, you can still slide the kayak back a little bit, put your wheels underneath the back of it. It makes it real easy instead of having to lift it up and everything. So, uh, it's a bummer lost the footage but i can't do much about it so it is what it is uh i've got a, an older gopro that i can use for, for uh future videos so all right well that's it for this video i'm gonna leave you guys with our new puppy all right take it easy dozer dozer <laughs> what are you doing boy huh what are you doing boy Huh? You say hi to everybody? Huh? You say hi to everybody? Huh? Huh? Dozer! <laughs> he's about 10 months old, 65 pounds, and he's awesome. His name's Dozer. Say hi. Alright. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Sorry about the, uh, Losing the footage, but uh, I'll try to do better next time.